Processing LiDAR data is unbelievably easy and efficient using the Rock Cloud. Here's 10 reasons why. Data storage. When you operate a LiDAR business, you'll quickly realize the headache of storing all of your projects either on external hard drives, or if you're lucky enough, you have an office that has servers. But you will inevitably find yourself trying to remember which drive did I put that one project on from last year. Then you'll be diving down into the hunt for that one project and opening each project to locate the correct scan. This can just be time consuming. And the worst case scenario is that one of your drives goes bad and you are just effed. Let's put it that way. So in the Rock Cloud, we built projects and folders. So all of your data is stored and organized right in the visualizer. It's easy to search and organize all of your projects. If you take multiple scans, you can group them into a folder and see your data over time, or you can bring together a bunch of scans and see them all together. The biggest point here is that you don't have to worry about losing your data when a hard drive crashes or taking a bunch of time to open each project on your one machine that has one license to the desktop lighter software that is required to visualize it. So you can really just do it anywhere. All right, next. Data sharing. Sharing. Do you wanna show off your beautiful 3D data and your deliverables to a client? Good luck doing that. From my experience, I can guarantee you that your client will struggle to open the 3D data. And if they try, they will need to have a beefy computer to render. It's just gonna be complicated. In the Rock Cloud though, sharing is just a click away. Now there are two ways to share. The first is through email address to limit the access to the project. And the second is link sharing for when you wanna share your data with anyone who wants to see it. This is very good for showcasing your data in a branded viewer. With sharing, there's no limit. You can share your project with unlimited external users and all they need is a computer and an internet connection. It really is that easy now. Custom branding. Let's talk about custom branding. I think this is a big one, another game changer for you. And in the spirit of making the Rock Cloud a true business solution, we built custom branding into all the business users' accounts because you need to be able to show your data sets to your clients and have them know whose work it is. It's yours. Custom branding puts your logo and business information right there on the data so you can comfortably share your work with your clients. We also built the Rockstars program, which when you enable in your settings, allows you to share your business information and capture data sets with the community. And really you should enable this because we push all the customers searching for drone LiDAR providers straight to the Rockstars page and they're finding you know, people there to fulfill the jobs. So you're missing out on some jobs. Next up, let's talk support. Customer support. Support is one of the pillars of rock and something we really pride ourselves in. Have you ever been trying to complete a project and something went wrong or you just didn't know the proper way to do something? Why does it say paper jam when there is no paper jam? I swear to God, one of these days I, I, I... Of course you have. That's why we offer the best support in the industry. In the Rock Cloud, there are multiple tiers of support. This includes community support that's always free and upwards to email and chat support. First, let's talk about chat support because I think this one is an absolute beast. Chat support is included with all business plan users. When you're on the Rock Cloud, you'll see a chat bubble in the bottom right of the screen. This is your portal to connect directly to a Rock support service representative. Here, you can ask your questions and get real-time human support. Pretty crazy, I know, human support. It's, it's awesome, but it's here to help you and we're here to help you. Another key piece of information here is that the support rep on the other side of the chat bubble will also be able to see the project you are chatting from. So in this way, you can get very detailed help on your data in real time. Also, I encourage you to use the chat bubble to make requests or suggestions of what features or improvements you wanna see next. We love to hear from you and all of your questions and feedback go directly into our development queue. Comparing and merging data sets. Now, comparing and merging data sets can be a huge pain. Technically, it's doable in desktop software, but this is kind of a big but. When your data sets get larger, let's say maybe you have a few 10 gigabyte scans, then the process can start to take forever to do anything, like for real, like merging and definitely to process. For instance, I had a 2000 acre project that had about nine flights in it and that all needed to be merged and then processed. It literally took me about four hours for each operation to be completed while using a desktop software. I think it ended up taking me nearly a week to process the 2000 acres, but with the Rock Cloud, you can bring in as many data sets as you need, visualize them all in real time. You can make adjustments to them in real time and then you can merge them into one big data set, or you can not merge them and keep them all the scans in a folder view and view all those data sets together and start doing measurements and measuring change over time and a lot of other cool features. It's really a super helpful functionality and a real lifesaver. 
Next up, projections. Projections. This is a scary one for many newcomers to LiDAR. And let's say this, the wrong projection can take a great scan and make you look like a fool to a client. And even if you think you get it right, some of the desktop softwares out there just don't do it correctly. You can really ask me about geoid models later. I'm happy to share some stories, some horror stories. The Rock Cloud, though, offers an easy to use interface that makes recommendations of the most commonly used projections. This is all done when you create a new project. And the recommendations are also based off the location of your selected project. You can even double check and make sure you got the right one by going to the map view and zooming all the way out you'll see the boundaries of the selected projection. That's a really cool thing. And also something else that's really cool to note is that this map that you're looking at is actually in your desired projection. And this is an important thing to note whenever we talk about ortho mosaics in a second, it's really cool. Okay, jumping back to it though, all the most popular projections and geoid models for vertical datums are built right into the rock cloud. And for more advanced users, there's also the ability to enter a combined scale factor to do a grid to ground conversion. So that's awesome and really cool. And one other cool thing that's coming really soon, we're gonna be introducing an alignment, an AI alignment tool for all your SLAM and terrestrial LiDAR data sets. So that's gonna enable you to now take SLAM, unprojected data, put it into the rock cloud, and then reproject it into your correct local coordinate system. Next up, stockpile volumetric calculation. Stockpile volumetric calculation. Volumetrics are important measurements used in mining and earthworks projects. For example, on a new construction site, contractors who are moving large amounts of earth to grade the site will often be paid by the amount of earth they move. So measuring accurate quantities becomes an important tool to help determine the appropriate price to be charged. And the Rock Cloud helps make this a super simple process. With the stockpile tool, you can easily click and draw a polygon around any objects in your point cloud and calculate the volume as well as cut and fill. Pretty simple. Line work and planimetrics. Line work and planimetrics. Another deliverable is the planimetrics deliverable. This is sometimes called line work. It's the process of taking aerial imagery, orthomosaics, or 3D point cloud data and drawing up all the vectors of the objects in your area. So for example, you might be adding onto a shopping complex. So first you need to go out and capture the existing buildings, the existing parking lot, and each parking space, the existing manholes, trees, sidewalks, curbs, etc., etc. This all needs to be digitized and brought into a CAD software so that the new design can be integrated smoothly with the existing infrastructure. Typically, this process is very time consuming and really above all, it's just tedious. Let's say this, nobody wants to spend the entire day drawing up line work or sitting behind a computer all night to annotate every parking space. I just don't believe anyone really wants to do that. Now with Rock Planimetrics, we take the point cloud data, the photogrammetric data and surveyed points and we draw in all the line work for you. You can order planimetrics from your LiDAR data and get 3D vectors, or you can also order it with your orthomosaic photogrammetric data and get 2D planimetrics. It really just takes the whole tedious task and makes it automated and easy. Topographic surfaces. Topographic surfaces. This is the most common service used in the rock cloud, and we call it the rock surveyor. It takes in your LiDAR point cloud and then builds a topographic surface, contours, and provides an accuracy report from any uploaded ground checkpoints. The Rock Surveyor Deliverable is a critical component to any survey that needs to get the topography. Typically, a surveyor will go out and capture the property boundaries and then use a drone to capture everything in between. Rock Surveyor provides the topographic deliverables for everything in between the boundaries. You can also add break lines and more advanced classifications when you order this Rock Surveyor Deliverable. Orthomosaic support. Orthomosaics. Now, Rock Cloud isn't only about that LiDAR data. In fact, in the Rock Cloud, you can upload orthomosaics. And you can also view the DEMs generated from the Rock Surveyor Deliverable and see your contours and planimetrics overlaid on the ortho. Now, one awesome feature here is that the visualization is in the correct projection. Yeah, we accidentally built the whole GIS system in the cloud. And really, this is just the beginning for orthos. Soon, you'll be able to draw on your ortho and you'll be able to order 2D planimetrics from any of your orthos. And while we're on the topic of orthos, any geotagged photo you upload will be displayed right here on your project. This is key to sharing your LiDAR data along with the high resolution inspection photos of your job site. Now, these are just two big features about orthos and photos. Leave a comment down below if you want to see us actually compute orthomosaics from uploaded imagery. And last but certainly not least, let's talk about ground control points and accuracy reports. GCPs and accuracy report. When you deliver a survey product, you always need to verify its accuracy. With the Rock Cloud, you can easily upload a CSV of ground control points or add them one by one. 
Then once they're in there, you can align your data set using the quick GCP alignment tool. When you order the Rocket Surveyor deliverable, these GCPs are used to create an accuracy report that gives you the RMSE, the root mean squared error of your data set. You can then go back into your data set, make any more X, Y, and Z corrections, and then the accuracy report will be automatically updated. And there we go. That's been the intro to the Rock Cloud, as well as a bunch of features and some ideas behind those features. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more content like this, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I hope you enjoyed and learned something. And I'll see you here next time on Indiana Drones.